Hello everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel Scratch Learners. In this video, we will see the assembly language program to print out the numbers whose lower nibble and upper nibble are same in a data array. So I hope you know about a nibble. So in a data like 34 hex, here this is the upper nibble and this is the lower nibble. That means a byte of number consists of two nibbles. Okay, nibbles are of 4 bits each. So, as we know, a byte is of 8 bits. So, 8 bits is equal to 2 into 4 bits. That means a nibble consists of 4 bits. So, this is the upper nibble and this is the lower nibble in an 8 bit number. So, we need to find out all the numbers whose these two digits are same. Here, 3 and 4 are not equal. So, this is not our answer, but a number like 33 hex or uh, d d hex these numbers are having the same lower nibble and the upper nibble right now let's see how to find out whether both the nibbles are same or not let's consider this example only 33 hex so first we will write it in binary format so this number is equal to 0011 0011 right now see these two digits are same right so, how we will do the checking? See here, we will rotate this data 4 times, either towards right or towards left. Okay, so I will rotate this data towards right. So, what will happen is, we will perform RRC instruction. That is, rotate the content of accumulator towards right without carry. So, what will happen with this data? Let's see. On the first rotation, this is rotated towards right. That means, this will be shifted one position towards right. So, this 0 will come to here. This 0 will be here. 1 will be here. This 1 will be here. And 0, 0, 1. And what about this one? This one will go to the most significant bit. As this is rotation. So, the least significant bit will become the most significant bit. Okay. This is the first rotation. Now, on the second rotation, what will happen? This 1 will come here. Then 0, 0, this one will be here. Then 1, 0, 0. Then again here we have a 1. This will go in the most significant bit that is here. Now if we perform the same instruction third time, then what will happen? This one will go here. 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. And this 0 will go to the most significant bit that is here. Right? Now on fourth rotation, let's see what will happen. So, this 0 will come here, this 1 will be here, this 1 will be here, then 0, 0, 1, 1. And this 0 will again go in the most significant bit. Now, on 4th rotation, you can see that this nibble got placed in this position. And this upper nibble got placed in the lower nibble. That means, 4 times we have shifted this data towards right. So, what happens is that both the digits are basically swapped. So, if both the nibbles will be same, then what we will get? After rotating the 33 hex 4 times, we will get the same data. Right. So, now we can compare these two datas and we can check whether they are equal or not. If they are equal, this means that its lower nibble and upper nibble are same. But if we consider another example like 34 hex, then on performing the rotation towards right 4 times, we will get 43 hex. And... When we will compare these two data, then we can see that they are not equal. So, in this data, the lower nibble and the upper nibble are not same. If you are having any problem in understanding the working of RRC instruction, that is the rotate instruction, you can watch out my video on logical instruction in 8085 microprocessor. And you can get that link in the i button. But here we need to perform this operation in an array of elements. So, let's say... We have 4 elements in an array. Okay, I am inputting the total number of elements in the array from C050 hex address. And all the consequent 4 elements will be inputted to this sequential locations. Okay, so the data are DD hex, 42 hex, 33 hex and A0 hex. So, for each data, we will check whether its lower nibble and upper nibble are same or not. And if they are equal, then we will store these data into some other location. Here you can see that 
डी डी हेक्स एंड थ्री थ्री हेक्स आर हैविंग द सेम डिजिट्स सो दीज टू डेटाज विल बी स्टोर्ड इन दीज टू लोकेशन नाउ लेट सी इट्स असेंबली लैंग्वेज प्रोग्राम सो इन द बिगनिंग विल इनपुट द टोटल नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स इन द एरे एलेक्स आई एच कॉमा सी जीरो फाइव जीरो हेक्स दैट इज फ्रॉम सी जीरो फाइव जीरो हेक्स एड्रेस विल बी इनपुटिंग जीरो फोर हेक्स राइट एंड एज वी नीड टू स्टोर दिस डेटा स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम दिस लोकेशन सो वी वी ऑल्सो नीड टू इनिशलाइज दिस एड्रेस इन सम रजिस्टर पेयर सो आई एम इनिशलाइजिंग द डी ई रजिस्टर पेयर विथ सी वन डबल जीरो हेक्स एड्रेस दैट इज दिस एड्रेस ओके सॉरी दिस इज डी हियर वी नीड टू स्टोर दिस डेटा इन टू दिस लोकेशन सैमल्टेनियसली सो हियर वी विल बी यूजिंग द कंसेप्ट ऑफ स्टैक्स इंस्ट्रक्शन सो इफ यू डोंट नो अबाउट हाउ दिस वर्क देन यू कैन वॉच आउट माई प्रीवियस वीडियो ऑन ट्रांसफरिंग अ ब्लॉक ऑफ डेटा फ्रॉम वन लोकेशन टू अदर लोकेशन एंड यू कैन गेट दैट लिंक इन द आई बटन सो प्लीज वॉच आउट दैट वीडियो फर्स्ट एंड देन कम टू दिस वीडियो नाउ हियर एज वी हैव इनपुटेड द टोटल नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स इन सी जीरो फाइव जीरो हेक्स वी विल मूव इट इन टू द रजिस्टर बी so that it can be stored here now we will start inputting all the elements one by one so inx h okay then we will move this data into the accumulator now we need to perform the rotate instruction on this data right but before performing the rotation we need to store this data in some other register also so that we can perform the comparison in the later part so we will move it into the register c also okay that means here c contains d d x now accumulator also contains the same data now we will perform the rotate right instruction okay so we will use rrc four times as we have rotated the content of accumulator four times to swap the lower nibble and the upper nibble see here four times rotate instruction has been performed so after rotation the result is stored in accumulator only the next step is to compare these two datas we know that the data is stored in the c register so we will perform the comparison operation between the accumulator and the c register right so we will perform cmpc that means accumulator will be compared with the content of c register so in this example we have taken dt hex that means d d will be compared with this data only and while comparison when both the data are equal then a zero flag will be generated right that is the zero flag will be set to 1 so we will check the j n z instruction that is jump if no zero occurs so j n z loop okay this is the loop 1 so if a zero is not generated then we will jump to some other location but if a zero is generated it means what it means that both the data are equal so what we need to do we need to store this data in this location right that means at c100 hex and see here we have initialized the d register with c100 hex so we will use stacks instruction that is stacks d so this will store the content of accumulator into the de register pair and we know that the accumulator itself contains the data dd hex now after storing this data we need to increment the content of d register pair so that it points to the next address so for that we will use inx d instruction so we are done with the first data now let's move on the second data but before moving on we need to decrement the content of the register b that means the total number of element in the array so we will perform dcr c instruction and we will use a j n z loop here because see we had four elements in the array so after performing the operation on the first data we need to decrement it right so this will be 3 now we will check whether this data is equals to 0 or not if this is not equals to 0 that means we need to input more data and perform the same operation so for that i am using j n z loop that means jump if no zero so when c is not equals to 0 then where it will jump it will jump to this location okay because see here from this location we are inputting the second data and the same operation will get performed then again decrement c 
and again performing the same instruction until the value of c becomes zero so this is loop 2 okay and then halt so we were here as c becomes 0 3 hex now we will input the second data from here that is 42 hex then it will be moved into the accumulator and the register c then again four times rotate instruction will be performed then 42 hex will be converted into 24 hex right and then comparison will be take place between these two datas here you can see that 42 hex is not equals to 24 hex so we don't need to store this data so from here the loop one will jump to this location so that we can ignore these two instruction of storing so c will be 2 hex and jump if no zero 2 is not equal to zero so we will jump back to this location then again increment h will input the third data that is 33 hex so now the input is 33 hex and it is stored in the accumulator and the register c then again four times rotate instruction so on rotating it it will remain same and again on comparison a zero flag will be set to 1 so we will store this data now you can see that we have incremented the content of d register pair to this location so on performing stacks d this data 33 hex will be stored here all right and then increment the content of d register pair to this location then decrement c so it will be 0 1 hex and again jump to this location input the last data that is a 0 hex now on rotation a 0 hex will be converted into 0 a and when we will compare them a zero will not be generated so this will jump from this location to here decrement the content of c so it will be 0 0 hex right and now c is equals to 0 so we will not jump from this location to here and then halt so this program was a bit tricky but i hope you got this video and if you are having any doubt you can ask me in the comment section and we will discuss it there and if you like this video please support our channel by subscribing to it thank you